Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some ways to export 2D tracking data to our 3D compositing and animation applications. Now, normally, Synthize deals with 3D data and set up to export 3D data, but sometimes you just have some 2D information that you want to move along as well. So here's a car moving in the scene, and we can track the shot, but tracking the car itself in 3D be very difficult since it's uh, small in frame. So perhaps we want to do something to it, and we'd like to just get a 2D export for it. So the first thing we're going to do here is just run the auto tracker, and we're not going to solve quite yet because the tool that we're going to use is called Make Unsolved Exportable as 2D. And what it does is take all of the unsolved trackers, which in this case is all of them, and create a 3D trajectory for them. So here, on the control panel for that, I get to select a distance and a type of geometry that I want to create for the trackers. So let's just use the sphere for starters and see what we get. You'll see here's the surface of the sphere and as I move through the shot, you'll see in this view here, and from the side as well, I've created an animated path for each of these trackers. It's actually kind of a motion capture path, and they're all staying a constant distance away from the camera. So that's the sphere shape that's involved. So if instead, let's just go back, we need to keep them not yet solved. Now let's select the plane option. Now you see everything's flat on a plane. And again, the path of each tracker is being moved around in 3D. It's being kept on this plane. And yet, you know, over in the camera view, you can see that everything is still matched up. So now, that just gives you an idea of what these two options are about. Now let's go and put them to work. We're going to go and solve the shot. You know, and here's the solve shot. We'll just use the automatic placement tool. And you know, here we have the camera flying overhead. So there's our car down there that we want to track. So let's just go and create a tracker on it. We'll just go right down on the uh, front windshield. And we'll let that track through the shot there. Now maybe we should go back and let it drop some keys periodically. That would be a little wiser. And you can see that lets it stay on course a bit better also. So uh, there's our, our tracker. You know, right now it's only a 2D path. So if we want to export that, you know, we have to assign it a 3D location. So let's go and we haven't solved it. We could actually get a zero-weighted tracker solved for it, which would put it off in some incredibly crazy direction. But instead we'll just run this script again. And you know, we can pick either of the options here. And now you'll see, you know, here's the, the, the tracker down there. And it's being animated along a path so that it lines up exactly in the correct line of sight to be able to, uh, you know, to stay aligned with where the car is. You'll notice that when it comes before the car appears, you know, it's not visible. So, if we wanted to do a purely 2D effect, and After Effects, say, perhaps this might be a way to make that happen. Now we can do something a bit more subtle as well. And here, let's just undo that again. So it's not solved again. And let's suppose we want to create a 3D path that's actually on the ground plane. So we're just going to set up a 
actual physical ground plane here. And, you know, this is based on the ground plane set up by the uh, auto placement tool. And you can see it's, we probably want to rotate it if we wanted to align it with the road or something. But uh, what we have available to work with is another tool that's Animate Trackers by Mesh Projection. And that tool works on all the trackers that are being exported. So what we need to do is select all of our trackers. We'll make them not exported. We'll select the tracker that we want to convert. We'll make it exportable. And now we want to select the mesh. And this is the mesh that the tracker is going to be projected onto, basically. And now we run our script. Now we have another point here. Let me just select that guy so you can see it. And you'll see in the left and top views, the front view, that that 3D position is now moving just along that plane. You can see it actually runs off the edge of the plane. I should have made it go a little further. But uh, now we've got a 3D location so we can run any of the synthize exports and be able to export that tracker path as a 3D position. So that's a pretty flexible technique. And I'll point out that this particular script, the Animate Trackers by Mesh Projection, works, in fact, with any kind of mesh. And it was originally intended for doing facial capture from a single camera, where there the idea is that you take a model 3D mesh for the actor's head, do a rigid body track to the shot that makes the mesh move along with the head, and then tr do additional 2D tracks of the features that move on the actor's face, such as the corners of the mouth and eyes and so on, that uh, you want to have animated, and then use this script to go and produce 3D trajectories for those individual features so that you can get something that looks like a multi-camera motion capture even though there was only a single camera involved. Of course, it's you know more complicated and not necessarily as accurate as having a multi-camera shoot either. So this gives you some additional food for thought, I think. Enjoy.